Hey guys, welcome to Game Bad. Today I bring you another video for our favorite weapon series for our Warzone weapons. Today we're covering the brand new weapon, the AN-94, and building it for Warzone in solos, duos, trios, and quads. And I'll be walking you through a Warzone win at the end of this video. So this is the brand new we weapon, as I said, the AN-94 unlocked at Tier 31 of the Season 5 Battle Pass. This is the second weapon here so far in this season, the two of the three that are released so far. First one being the ISO and then the AN-94. So the AN-94 is a very unique weapon. It took me a while to figure out how to use it best. I was swapping between either the burst option or going full auto with it. And then I figured out that really the best way to use this is either in the burst option, which you'll see here when I walk through the solo win and in some of the gameplay, but you can also use it very effectively by keeping it in the full auto select fire option and tap firing it. You can get effectively two bursts out of that or even three that are very accurate and fastly fired and you can down opponents very quickly and with this particular build at a very long range as well you can use it almost like a dmr and then obviously you have the ability to use it in medium range to even close quarters in emergencies because it does have the full auto capability as well so i believe drifter and exclusive ace did some videos on this and the two round hyperburst it fires at around 900 rounds per minute and based on however frame rates you're playing with when you tap fire and try to get three rounds while on full auto you're going to fire that third three round burst is going to be at 1200 rounds per minute so you can actually if you take this weapon when you unlock it and go in game and play around with it and check it out on the wall at a distance typically yeah, i use the euphrates bridge and go as far out as i can to register yeah. the bullets at range for my warzone build and if you tap fire this the three round hyper burst the two round hyper burst and then the three round if you keep it on full auto that three round is going to be very very accurate and tightly spread so not a lot of bullet spread there very tight shots and again you're going to be able to engage people at long ranges with three bullets almost dead center on where you're aiming with very little recoil and that's the unique feature about the an94 so you'll see in the gameplay here but especially i highly recommend this build especially keeping it in full auto and tap firing and try and master that two round or even the three round burst while keeping it in full auto and if you need to get used to that for a while definitely switch over to two round burst it's very effective as you'll see in the gameplay but Let's go ahead now and we'll go ahead and back out and take a look at this weapon. I'll show you how to build it for solos and then duos, trios, and even quads and show you how to win the game here in the solo gameplay. We'll walk through and I'll show you how to win a game. So we'll go ahead and back out. Here we have our final design for the Russian AN-94 or the Glenetti Nik Nikonov model of 1994. Again, we covered the weapon conversion on this the other day. This is a Nikonov rifle, not a Kalashnikov rifle, so it's the N standing for Nikonov, Avdamat Nikonov, model of 1994. So we'll go ahead and back out here. I'll strip this down, and first off, we'll show you the solo build. So the attachments you're going to want for the solo build that I really like are going to be the monolithic suppressor. So again, this is going to just assist with the sound suppression, damage at range, and again, in Warzone, it's going to keep you off the minimap, which is always key, especially depending on what game mode you're playing with. Solos, you can get away without it, but in any other game mode, I highly recommend having a suppressor. Cons here being the aim down sight speed and the aim walking steadiness. So we'll go ahead and select that. Now the second option here for the barrel, we're gonna want the AN-94 Factory X 438 millimeter barrel. So this is gonna give us the longest barrel available for the AN-94. It's gonna assist with the damage range, bullet velocity, and the recoil control. The cons here being the ADS speed and the movement speed. So this is a very vital attachment, especially really when it comes to Warzone specifically, just so you can take advantage of all those pros and the cons really we can mitigate those pretty well but this is going to give us max damage at range with recoil control and again since we're suppressed we're going to stay off the minimap and that model X suppressor is going to give us an even bigger boost to the damage range which is going to help us out so we'll go ahead and select that now for the solo build i'm going to run attack laser just because we want to keep the mobility of this weapon manageable and especially the ads speed so the attack laser is going to assist with that the aim instability and the aim walking steadiness the only con here Again, is that the laser is going to be visible when you are ADSing. So just be mindful of that where and when you're ADSing and you should be fine. Plus, aesthetically, it looks beautiful on the right-hand side of that Picatinny. So we'll go ahead and select that. Now, the optic, this optic is very unique to the AN-94. It's going to be the very last optic you unlock, the POS M3 thermal scope, based on some sort of PSO thermal that the Russians use. Again, this is going to be a night vision with a thermal overlay. So very unique weapon. If you guys have seen the movie Predator, you're basically seen in that kind of vision. It's very, very unique. The pros here, again, thermal target identification, which you'll see in the gameplay, as well as zoom level. We're going to be at base a 3.25 zoom level. The only con here is you can't adjust the zoom level, so you're stuck in that. But I think this is a very manageable 
zoom level for this weapon and it really works in close quarters as well if you really needed to the only cons again ADS speed but we've already mitigated that with the tack laser go ahead and select that and then the final attachment we're gonna skip out on everything else and we're gonna go with the underbarrel I'm gonna run actually a ranger foregrip I think since this is a 545 weapon and not a 7.62 like the AK-47 we don't really need the Merc foregrip especially because we're not gonna be hip firing too much so I'm gonna go with this being recoil control and aim and stability for the pros the cons here aim walking movement speed and aim down sight speed but again that's all personal preference you can run really any under barrel attachment that you feel works best for you so this is our solo build of this weapon the an94 now i'll show you a few different optics here but if i go into duos or any other game mode really what i'm going to do is get rid of this tack laser everything else is going to be the same and then the ammunition for duos i think you can easily do the 45 round magazine Again, the RPK magazine there, again, keeps the ammo the same, 545 by 39. Or for duos, and obviously above, you're going to want that 60-round casket magazine. So that's that quad stack casket mag by the 545 by 39. Going to up your magazine capacity from 30 to 60. The only cons, again, the ADS speed and the movement speed for the weapon. So this is a really good uh, duo build and up that I really like. And if you're not a fan of that optic, another option here that I would really recommend is going to be the Canon hybrid optic you can throw this on and then for the radical a key attachment here that i like is going to be the heroic optic because you'll have the the yellow circle there is going to be your 45 mounted candid red dot sight and then you're just going to have a nice clean uh cross sign there for your for your lcan optic there on that 3.25 zoom so it's very clean you're able to identify targets and get hits on them very quickly i think that's a really good option for this another option for the optic would be obviously the VLK Rogue, but I'm not a big fan of running that. I just think it's, uh, I think it needs a little bit of an adjustment. Could be a little bit overpowered. Plus with this weapon in general, I'm just not the biggest fan of it. Four times flip. This is another really good one. Again, if you're gonna go out to ranges like you really typically do with this weapon, you have the four times optic and then you have the close quarters option with the holographic sight on there as well. So those are all good options. But again, my preferred build is gonna be this. The only con, again, is going to be that that thermal optic you'll see in the gameplay here when we get into it is going to be a little bit difficult if somebody's running cold-blooded to see them versus a regular thermal you can still really pick them out decently with this one it's going to be very difficult just because of the background of the weapon but this is our so we'll start here this is a solo build we're going to be using i showed you the duo and up build as well of the an 94 abacon the nikonov model of 1994 so let's go ahead now we'll jump into the gameplay and i'll show you how i use this to win a nice solo game using the an 94 and why i think this is one of the best options and right now one of my favorite rifles in the game to use okay so we dropped in here right at the start of the game at train now there's been a lot of adjustments to train as well as other parts of the map but train now has a very vast interior so it's definitely a really good drop and again you can get tactical advantage if you can hold down parts of the roof which you'll see me do here basically a lot of other people landed here and you can hear footsteps a lot easier now they, they made the adjustments just gonna basically get the high ground there and a tactical advantage on that guy now fast forward a little bit i'm gonna loop around after clearing the area, come down and loot this guy. He had quite a lot of money and a, t and a tac tactical play carry there, which will help me out here in the gameplay. And then you can see I spot this guy running. So he's, I think, one of the guys that I identified who's uh, has a scavenger contract, and I believe he just killed the guy down that hall as well. So I've been hearing these guys and tracking them around with the sound audio. And here you can see I'm going to engage. Now, this is a brand new part of terrain, so I'm really... This is one of my first times engaging in this area, just trying to see if he has another way out. Now, there is a doorway all the way down that hallway to the left where you can get out. And again, I'm using a, a ground pickup scar here. The iron sights are not the best with this weapon, especially because we have a base barrel, so there's going to be a bit of recoil. You can hear a guy just dropped in. Basically, what I'm going to do is peek that guy a few times and able to get him and break his arm or take him out pretty easily. Now, another unique... Uh, firefight here. I loop back around and get back on the roof and I heard this firefight going on and I see this guy behind this HVAC unit. So he's engaging somebody to my right. So I'm going to try and monitor him and work around this while keeping an eye on him. Almost like a, I'm basically pying around the top of the roof here, keeping my reticle line of sight on him. And then I'm going to whiff that C4 and I'm going to try and come around and surprise this guy. He moved really oddly at the last second there, but you can also see now I'm getting engaged from another guy. So I have two guys, one at my 12 o'clock and one at my 9 o'clock, who's going to shoot at me here. So I need to get out of there, cut and run. And basically what I'm going to do there is I'm going to pie all the way back around and get out of that situation, luckily. Now, fast forward again, I'm able to get my loadout. And I'm moving around the circle quite a bit now. 
and um, held up and fired, just trying to wait, wait and see where this next circle is going to move to. And this guy gets his load out here. So now you can see the thermal overlay on this optic and how it can be a little difficult to spot people if they do have cold blooded. And I can obviously hear a guy and then I'm going to see him on my heartbeat. So the good thing is they adjusted the ladder audio here and I can hear him coming up the ladder. So once I'm certain he's coming up, I'll just peek this easily and get the kill. And you can see here, I do have it in the two round hyperburst option in this gameplay. Uh, in the future, I've been using it in the full auto like I was discussing, but here is just fast forward again. I'm just moving up, trying to position myself in the circle and loop around. And then this guy, very unlucky for him, just drops in right in front of me with his ride shield. Not sure if he was knew somebody was in front of me, but now this is an example of how hard it is to spot people. This guy had cold blooded on and you can see He's almost impossible to see there, so you really need to make sure you have a good secondary there. Definitely one of the cons of this optic, which is why you may want to pick one of the other ones. Now, fast forward here, I, I'm able to, this is buyback solo, so I come back. You can see my orange mark there, and I'm going to look. There's a guy there, and again, very hard to see because he's on a dead body. He also had cold blooded, but I'm able to get that kill. Um, I, I saw him, uh, the fire coming down when I was landing, so I was able to mark that. Now, I'm going to take his position, and again, you can see... It's almost like Predator Vision, able to get that guy pretty easily as he's trying to rotate up on me. And now I'm going to rotate in a little bit, just trying to scan my surroundings, see if I can pick anything up. The downside here, I believe my secondary is still a pistol, so I just you need to be conscious of that. This guy's going to pop up on me, and you can see that two-round burst, you're able to very effectively tap fire that and take targets out very, very quickly, especially at those ranges. So... This is a pretty insane final end of this game. I believe I get, I got ended up getting like six of the last uh, nine people. I wasn't sure if this guy had a trophy, so I held off on throwing that C4, which was a mistake. I'm able to get that guy very easily. He was obviously already hurt. Now this guy is the guy that bailed out of the car. I'm gonna reload. He doesn't see me, and this is you know really early on when I was using this rifle and still trying to figure out how it works, and I, I was bursting a little bit too fast so I wasn't able to get that kill but he was taken out by the last guy so now it's one-on-one -on -one. I'm gonna rotate because he knows around where I am I'm gonna rotate I know around where he is so I'm just gonna try and get eyes on I know he was over by that car so I'm gonna put a mark up there just so I know where around to look and there I spot him and you can see there I missed all of those shots again still very early on trying to get used to the the weapon itself he's gonna push I'm gonna take my time I know he's got to push to me make him come to me and I'm able to take him out right there. Again, uh, I barely survived that engagement. And you can see how the downsides of this weapon can be at close quarters, especially if you're not in the full auto mode. I, like I said, now typically I run it in full auto and I'll burst fire it like that. But you also have the option for full auto if you desperately need it. The only downside is if you do go full auto, the fire rate of the weapon is going to drop off drastically. So you really need to keep that in mind. It's going to affect your recoil control as well. So you really need to be mindful only to use that really in emergency situations. But... This is the AN-94 Abacon. Let me know down below what you guys think of this weapon in Warzone. Have you run it yet? What are your favorite attachments? How do you like to run this in solos, duos, trios, and quads? Hopefully this weapon build helps you out. I think this is really definitely one of my favorite weapons in Warzone right now. It's a lot of fun to use once you get the hang of it and understand how it works, its pros and cons. So I'd recommend using it really how I'm saying is either in the two-round burst option or preferably in full auto and just trying to master that two-round burst and even trying to get the three-round burst. Definitely take it into a custom game and try and get the hang of it. And this weapon is a lot of fun and, again, very effective in Warzone. So let me know down below what you guys think of the AN-94. Till next time, Buffer Gaming, out.